YouTube, JDM Performance here, and uh, I got some requests that uh, you guys wanted to see a full day in the life video, so I'm going to try to give that to you guys. First, let me clean you off. Much better. Okay, so let's get this day started. It's super rainy out here. I hate these steps when they're wet. It's super sketchy. place is a ghost town. tell you guys that I haven't really said anything about school but it's going good I um, haven't missed a second of class and the biggest thing going to school and automotive school is uh, your attendance you know especially when you get hired on anywhere you have to have good attendance and uh, that's what the job people are looking at they're not looking at your grades they're looking to see if you come to school every day and if you're gonna come to work every day if they hire you out of school so uh, traffic update it's pretty uh, it's pretty crappy right now um, things are pretty hectic letting these people go because man they've been sitting here forever I know I've been sitting here for a couple minutes and uh, they've been sitting there longer so other subscribers I just want to say that I have a lot of big things that I have I have a lot of big things that are coming um, I'm really planning on like starting to do more like a live stream Q&A's um, just doing a lot of stuff like that I'm definitely ready for it but uh, just one of the deals you know I gotta do it. okay guys so uh, there's a Ford dealership on the right and the left to me I'm actually passing it uh, it'll be like in the next 10 seconds. But anyway, uh, apparently, uh, the word on the streets, they have a GT350R in the uh, the showroom floor. And uh, I actually see a Focus RS outside, so you know they got good stuff. If this video gets 100 likes, I will go to that dealership and I will try to do my best to get a test drive in that car for you guys. 100 likes and I'll go you know, do my best to mess with them and see if I can get some shots of awesome cars. The gas light just came on, so. It's great. So, uh, just remembered, uh, I actually just checked, you know, I'm sitting at a red light. I checked my phone and uh, I remember what the other movie was that I want to, I'm probably going to see The Birth of the Dragon. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, you know, trailers on YouTube, you know, watching different channels and stuff. I've been seeing a lot of trailers for that on YouTube and uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that probably. Okay, so finally, after an hour of driving through this mess, I'm at going, I actually rolled up on work. Okay guys, so uh, just scheduled the time off and uh, I think we're locked and loaded, so yeah, sounds good. Okay, so on to the next thing, which is get gas. I need gas bad. Alright guys, let's get her done here. It's so cold out here. Okay, so just fill the car up and the, you know, the car's happy now, it's full. So anyway, uh, time to go to the movie. Um, it's 5.58, gotta be there at 7.15. So uh, I might be pushing it. And away we go, <laughs> all right. Hey, let's pull out e brake just have fun with it. Oh God dang. <laughs> I might even try to drag the back tires. This car actually <laughs> won't do a burnout. You just, it'll lock the back tires and uh, it just, you know, it'll pull the back tires. It's funny as crap. Guys, I just cannot, you know, express to you enough how excited I am to show you the car that I have, and uh, like, you just, you guys have no idea, like, what it's gonna be. You, I promise you. Okay, YouTube. So I'm here to interrupt your video. Um, before you even say anything or think anything, go to comment anything. Um, yes, I did wash the shirt, and this is another day. It's actually Monday. Um, I gotta say a few things that I didn't quite get out the right way when I was making this video, and uh, yeah, let's get started. 
So the G35, it's not gonna happen. Um, for one, I found better deals on cars. And uh, I mean, I feel like if I just would wait a little bit more, I could have something I really want. Let me explain. So long story short, I can get cars out of a wholesale auction as long as it's you know before they're staged in the in the auction and uh you know they're really cheap most of them are pretty cheap and most of them you know they're junk but sometimes every once in a while you'll get a car like this and this car was actually a roush stage one 5.0 mustang gt of course i think it was 2011 um it was an automatic was my only problem with it but this tank had so much aftermarket this car was worth eleven thousand dollars to the dealer that had this that's doable for me the only thing with it is the insurance well i found this car the same day that i actually put in the paper to uh to buy the g or you know test drive and get all that process worked out because you know buying one you have, it has to pass emissions and all that good stuff so uh Anyway, I seen this car and I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute, hold it up, hold the phone. You know, I, I got to rethink some things. Well, anyway, I decided, you know, no, that's, you know, it's not, that wouldn't be me because the insurance. Well, uh, and plus it's an automatic Mustang. You know, I knew the GTs, if, if I was going to get one, it had to be a manual six speed like that. Long story short, we got another one in. And this one is right here. And this one had like 80,000 miles on it, you know, manual six speed all the good stuff goody goodies the only reason why they put it in wholesale instead of a front lot is because of the wheels and i think it uh, it was wheels and the stripe literally the stripe and uh this is about a twenty-two thousand dollar car the way it sat the wheels and all that it would be more it'd be worth more had they have more money to at least three thousand dollars into the wheels but uh and tires um anyway they wanted twelve thousand dollars for this car so that's what they had in it and that's what i would get to buy it for you know plus added on taxes and fees and that would probably be thirteen thousand dollars in the end now i don't have my credit built up but if i could just wait until i do and uh, i'm actually taking steps towards that right now and uh yeah it'd be about three months if i save and save and save i put five thousand dollars down on one of these cars and outside finance it that's doable you know with the job that i have set up right now even with the insurance you know even with my phone bill and stuff that's all i have to worry about really all that right there and i would be so much more happier and and that's that but what really tipped me over you know and said i was gonna like do this i was gonna get the g and then just save and do all that crap at the same time and then get the mustang and all that but um you know the g was a thousand dollars you know a little bit over that and uh i was talking to one of my teachers at college and he's one of them guys man that he'll he'll get you motivated he'll get you inspired and uh we were in class one day and I was telling him my situation and stuff and showing him the car and I showed him the G35 and I'm like, holy crap, it's such a good deal. Like, how could I not pass this up, you know? And, and then he was looking at me like, yeah, that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool, you know? He he doesn't really like cars, he's a welding teacher and uh, he, he that's all he cares about is welding. But anyway, and I was like, man, it'd be so cool to get this and turn it into a little race car, just a little project, you know? And, and I'm like, it would be good enough, don't you think so? And this guy looked me in the eye and he said, is it good enough and it was like he knew everything that was going on you know like every it's like he knew the way i was back home with my cars and like all the stuff i would do and how much fun i would have and it was like he just he knew everything and all he had to say is it good enough and man I, it, it sent me into thinking i mean i got to thinking hard i was i was i guess you could say i was just messed up i was in such a daze for at least 24 hours I mean, I was trying to sleep that night, and I was like, he's right. Is it good enough? And yes, I would be happy if I would have got the G35, but I was really basing it on like, hey, this is a, a sedan, it's an automatic, and it doesn't matter. You know, I, I would be happy, yes, but it's not me. It's not what I love. It's not what I've, not what I've wanted forever. And now that I've seen the what I want is is possible and it's possible like within the next six months or you know even a year so you guys it may be a long time but for me if I have to wait that long to have something that's my dream it's like one of my life goals yes I'm gonna do it so that's the story on what happened and uh, I'm glad that he said that and I'm glad what happened happened I'm glad I've made the choices that I've made so far and uh, you know it could be awesome very soon so uh, about the whole new car deal, I'm just going to stop mentioning it on the channel. 
I'm done, uh, you know, getting you guys excited. I mean, that's how it works. When you're a car guy, that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, you the right car won't come until 10 cars later, and you think, you think it'd be the most perfect thing ever. And then you get to thinking, and uh, that's just how it works. So uh, I'm going to go under the radar. I'm going to stop looking. Um, I'm going to stop asking around. I'm going to stop everything, everything except saving. I'm going to start saving my money up and just getting ready for, uh, you know, the right car, the right Mustang to come through like that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. I mean, it's going to happen, too. That's the thing about it. But when it happens, it's going to be a little while from now, but when it happens, it'll be so worth it. No more of anything about a new car until I get the new car and I have it. Go ahead and smash that like button if you like the video and uh, you know stay tuned for awesome content because it is coming. Um, now that I'm just kind of taking you know getting a new car off my mind for a little while until I get my credit built up, um, you know I'm going to take that time and take advantage of it and definitely put a whole lot more time into my YouTube and stuff. So uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we're probably at a thousand subscribers by now. And uh, again, that is, I'm honored and I can, I just, it blows me away that that's possible. And uh, that many people, uh, you know, click that button to stay with me and kind of stay updated with me and what I do. And uh, thank you, I'm blessed, you know, um, we all are. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe.